Don't forget to subscribe. Hey everyone, how's it going? I'm Leon with No More Lines. If you're new to the channel, be sure to subscribe. Leave a like and a comment and watch the video to the very end. In this video, I'm going to show you how to download and install mods in Tekken 7. Tekken 7 is able to incorporate a number of different mods, including character mods, stage mods, user interface mods, a whole lot of different things. I've even seen mods for the... Um, for the commentator, the battle announcer, I've seen mods where you can swap uh, character move lists. There's so many different things. The modern community is a, a big thing in Tekken, so I'm really glad it's there. What you're looking at here is the TekkenMods.com website. I'm going to link that in the description box. I highly recommend that you go on here and check out some of these mods. And I'm going to show you how to actually do everything in, in the video. So one important thing is that this only works for PC it does not work with console so you won't be able to install any mods on console first thing that you're gonna to need to do is you're gonna to need to figure out the, the actual mod that you want to uh, download this here is a mod that just came out about a week ago uh, and it's a character mod that allows you to swap out a character outfit for um, a new uh, a new outfit that was it, it, it was just created and I want you to see here that this is actually a swap mod and what I mean is that it swaps the placeholder for one particular character outfit for another and I want you to see here that it says that uh, for, for for the different female characters it gives you a list of the outfit that it actually goes and replaces the reason why that's important is because uh, the mod has to correspond to something and you have to understand exactly what the mod is going to overwrite or change because it's going to use an existing asset it's going to overwrite that, that asset within the game basically the mod itself is a, a dot pak file that is basically a package file that incorporates a lot of different things uh, a lot of different settings and with tech and the way it works is that once you place the mod in the appropriate folder it'll load in those mods before it loads in everything else and it doing that it overrides some of the settings now the problem with that is that if something's wrong or if something doesn't work it's not going to uh, actually install Tekken or open Tekken so that's something that's important it's not going to crash your game if anything just make sure that you keep your uh, your save data in the cloud and if you need to reinstall Tekken you you can I mean I, I've never had that problem to be honest with you but it, it can happen though all right so let's get started so let's go ahead and download this mod and then once it downloads it's gonna download it as a zip file so I'm gonna open the file up and you're gonna see there's a folder called like Beast Pirates I'm going to take that folder, I'm going to extract it, and I'm going to extract it into the actual downloads folder. Okay, so I'm going to skip ahead just a, just a little bit, but I'm going to show you the folder that you have to create in order to get the mods to work. So what you're going to do is you're going to go to your, uh, wherever your Steam installation is, and I'm going to zoom into this. It's going to be Steam. Steam apps, common, Tekken 7, Tekken game, content, and packs. And then within this packs folder, you have to create a new folder. And you're going to use, there's a tilde button or the tilde uh, sign. The tilde is above the uh, actual tab button on, on your keyboard. But it's tilde mods. And once you've created that folder, you're going to put your mods within that folder. One thing I do as well to make it easier is that I have my um, I have my packs folder in my quick access bar. And how you do that is you just take this folder and just copy it over. And then it's going to go and pin it to the quick access bar. So that way, if you're doing multiple mods, you'll be able to easily and um, extract the mod and then put it into, into that mods folder. All right. So I'm going to go back to my downloads. And I'm going to open up the, the actual folder that I extracted. Okay. 
Now, in this particular mod, there are two files that are required. If you see that the, 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 there's a readme and the person that made this actually did a good job because it makes it to where you don't have to open anything up. You can actually see everything in front of you. So it says that the main file must be installed and it says then pick the characters that you want. So what that means is that you have to have this main file in the packs folder in the packs and mods folder. So you have to have that here. And then what you're going to do is you're going to go back to that folder and you're going to pick whichever character that you want to do that with or you want to install the mod. So I'm going to do a, a mod for Asuka and I'm going to actually open the game up and I'm going to show you how to do everything with it. It's, very, it's fairly straightforward. Uh, one thing to take note of, I, I don't know if you noticed, but there are no spaces in the file name. The file, the PAC file, it has to be all a single um, string. It can't be any spaces. And what I would recommend doing is that you can also take those files and rename them. You can rename them anything, anything, anything that you want to name it. The only thing is that th there can't be any spaces. Uh, so once I've verified that those two files are there, I'm going to go ahead and open up my Tekken 7 installation on my on Steam. And then it's going to launch. Now, one thing to pay attention to is that if 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 your Tekken doesn't load, you may want to check some of your mods and make sure that they're they're installed correctly. And what I mean is that um, a first thing is that you got to make sure that there, there are no spaces. And since the mod is modifying specific parts of the uh, installation, if your game loads and if the mod doesn't work you want to make sure that you're not putting mods that affect the exact same files over and over again and and that's more of something with the person that actually went and created the mod and you saw earlier that uh in the uh in the mod description it, it tells you exactly which mods affect what so i'm gonna uh, go into my character customization now and i'm gonna show you the uh outfit that is uh, being modified for Asuka. So I'm gonna go to character customization. Go to Asuka. I'm, gonna just open, I'm gonna create a slot real quick for her. So I'm gonna show you the, the mod how it looks. So it overrides the Santa outfit in this particular case and in this particular mod. Not all mods are like this, but this particular mod, you're able to change the, the coloring up on the actual message, the, on the actual uh, part of, of her outfit. So I'm going to just go ahead and change two dollars real quick. So that's it. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna just do a, a, a ghost battle real quick. Just do a single match. I'm gonna treasure battle and I'm gonna just show you how, how the mod looks. Welcome to the King of Iron Fist Tournament 7. I definitely encourage you to play around with some of these mods, but make sure that when you uh, use the mod in a video to attribute it to the original creator, uh, 
you want to keep this going i think it's a great thing to have these mods out here and um encouraging people to use it is, is a great idea Fight. Alright y'all, so um, that's pretty much it. And of course to uninstall the mod, all you have to do is, is go back into that packs folder and just take those files out, out, out of there. And again, there are a number of different mods. You can mod uh, the stages, you can mod characters, you can mod all kinds of different stuff. But the whole gist of it is what I showed you. It's where you're going to download the file from a location. Uh, you're going to make sure that it's a .pac file. You got to understand exactly what the mod changes over or modifies. And then you're going to uh, put it in, into that mods folder. And then from there, you're going to just uh, open the game up. And then that's pretty much it. So, yeah, uh, hopefully you found the video helpful. If you did, be sure to leave a like, a comment. I'm going to link uh, the, the Tech and Mods website. Uh, you have a blessed day and you take care. Thank you.